Changing your brake pads on your juice bike is a part of normal bike maintenance that needs to be done on any bike, whether it's electric or not. We recommend changing your pads if they are worn out, contaminated, or if you want to switch the compound material. Checking the brake pads about every 500 miles is a good idea to see if they are worn out. You won't necessarily need to change them every 500 miles. It all depends on how you ride. It's time to replace the pads when there's about 25 to 30 percent pad left, or if they look unevenly worn in places. If the brake pads are contaminated, you might hear a squealing noise while braking, or it may take extra effort for you to brake. Common things that contaminate the brakes are spray lubricants or cleaning products, and even grease from your hands after touching the rotor or brake pads. If you feel like your brake pads are contaminated, it's time to replace them. The other time to change your brake pads is if you want to try out a new material. Juiced Bikes primarily uses organic brake pads, which are typically quieter than most other compounds. If you're wanting to try a new compound, such as metallic, each offers its own advantages and disadvantages. To replace the brake pads on your juice bike, you will need two 15 mm wrenches, a three mm Allen wrench, a five mm Allen wrench, or the tri-tool that first came with your bike, a box wrench, and new brake pads. Brake pads can be purchased from any bicycle repair shop or can be purchased online from our website. Be sure to confirm the brake pads you are purchasing fit the model of the brakes installed on your e-bike. The brake model number is located on the bottom of the brake lever. First, make sure the bike is turned off and the battery is removed. If you own a bike with mag wheels, you will also use the two 15 mm wrenches to remove the front wheel. Loosen the nuts on both sides of the wheel with the wrenches. Then loosen them some more by hand until the wheel is able to slide out from the bike. We do not recommend placing the fork directly on the ground. Instead, place it on a soft surface. If you own a bike with a quick release front wheel, open the cam lock and loosen the nut by hand until the wheel can easily be removed from the bike. Do not squeeze the brakes while the front wheel is off of the bike. To replace the front brake pads, find the 3 mm Allen wrench. Loosen the small bolt on the outside of the front brake caliper and remove it. Next, push the old pads out of the caliper and remove them from the bike. Be sure to remove the two pads and the spring. Before putting on new brake pads, be sure the pistons are pushed back into the caliper. As the brake pads get thinner from use, the pistons adjust inward. To prepare for the new pads, use a box wrench and apply pressure to the pistons to push them back in. Locate the two pads and spring, being sure not to touch the inside of the pads with your hands. Oil from your hands can contaminate the pads and rotors, causing noise while braking. Place the spring in between the pads. Now push the pads together and slide them into the caliper. Be sure everything slides all the way in. If you're having trouble installing the new brake pads, be sure you're squeezing them tightly together. Once the brake pads are fully in place, put the bolt back in the brake caliper and tighten until snug. Be sure to not touch the brake levers until the wheel is back in place. Slide the wheel back into the dropouts with the rotor sliding in between the brake pads. Begin to tighten the nuts by hand and fully tighten with the wrenches. If you own a bike with a quick release front wheel, tighten the nut and fully lock the wheel in place with the cam lock. Be sure the cam lock is to the front or back of the fork. If the top of the cam lock is touching the fork, it is not fully closed. With the help from a friend, spin the front wheel and test the brakes by using the brake's left brake lever. 
If the rotor is not rubbing on the brake pads, you're good to move on to the back brake pads. If there is rubbing, it's most likely an alignment issue. Use the 5mm Allen wrench to loosen the top and bottom caliper bolts. After loosening the bolts, make sure the caliper can move freely from side to side in order to center it correctly. Press and hold the brake's left brake lever in and tighten the bolts to center the pads. Do not release the lever until both bolts are tight. Spin the wheel once more to see if this align the pads and continue to adjust as needed. On the rear wheel, using the 5mm Allen wrench, remove the top and bottom caliper bolts on the rear brake caliper. Pull the caliper up and out of the way of the rotor. To replace the brake pads, find the 3mm Allen wrench. Loosen the small bolts on the outside of the rear brake caliper and remove it. Next, push the old pads out of the caliper and remove them from the bike. Be sure to remove the two pads and the spring. Before putting on the new brake pads, be sure the pistons are pushed back into the caliper. Use a box wrench and apply pressure to the pistons. Locate the two new pads and spring. Place the spring in between the pads. Now push the pads together and slide them into the caliper. Be sure everything slides all the way in. Next, replace the small bolt in the caliper and tighten. Place the caliper on the rotor, being sure not to touch the rotor with your hands. Put in the top and bottom bolts and lightly tighten by hand. Tighten with the 5mm Allen wrench, but don't fully tighten. Make sure the caliper can freely move side to side so it can center when pulling the brake lever. Pull the bike's right brake lever and fully tighten the bolts down. Do not release the lever until both bolts are fully tightened. Next, release the brake lever. Keep your hands away from the rotor and spin the wheel to check if the rotor is centered. Continue to do small adjustments as needed. Once all new brake pads are in place, it's time to bed the brakes in, which is very important. New brake pads must be bedded into the rotor to ensure they are working properly. Bedding adds a little bit of dust from the pads onto the rotors in an even way. To bed in the brakes, ride the bike in a straight line at about 10 miles per hour. As you're riding, slow to more of a walking speed by lightly braking, but not fully locking up the brakes. We recommend doing this about 10 times. Then you will increase the speed to around 20 miles per hour and brake a few more times, still being sure not to fully lock up the brakes. Once the bed-in process is done, you're all set to ride.